manner. <clears throat> Today's hearing will focus on oversight of the Department of Transportation's implementation of the Moving Ahead for Progress in the 21st Century, better known as MAP-21. Uh, MAP-21 was signed into law by the President on July 6, 2012, and authorizes the Federal Highway Transit and Highway Safety Programs through September 30th of 2014. It consolidated or eliminated over 70 federal programs that were duplicative. These changes provide greater focus on the core national systems and give states greater flexibility to meet their transportation needs. MAP-21 also started the process of holding states and transit agencies accountable for their funding decisions. States and transit agencies in uh, conjunction with metropolitan planning organizations will have to incorporate performance measures into their long-term transportation plans. These performance measures will help states and transit agencies focus their limited federal resources on projects that have the greatest benefit. MAP-21 made major reforms and improvements to the project delivery process. It currently can take almost 14 years for a transportation project to be completed if federal funding is involved. This is unacceptable. Some of the MAP-21 reforms include allowing federal agencies to review projects concurrently, penalties for agencies that don't meet project review deadlines, and expanded categorical exclusions for projects in the existing right-of-way or with limited federal investment. These reforms will help cut bureaucratic red tape and quickly deliver the economic and safety benefits of transportation projects. MAP-21 also created a program to provide relief for public transportation systems that were affected by a natural disaster or catastrophic failure. Previously, transit agencies had to work through FEMA to replace equipment or rebuild their systems after a disaster. But after Hurricane Katrina, transit agencies sought an emergency program similar to the emergency relief program operated by Federal Highways Administration. This program was recently utilized by states and communities that were affected by Hurricane Sandy. Numerous trucking safety provisions were included in MAP-21, which reflects Congress's commitment to keeping truckers and the traveling public safe. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration is tasked with implementing new regulations on electronic logging devices, hazardous materials safety permits, a drug and alcohol clearinghouse, and motor carrier registration requirements related to unsafe reincarnated carriers. These regulations will keep drivers safe while maximizing the efficiency of the trucking industry. Congress recognized that new challenges have emerged affecting highway safety. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is required to implement a national priority safety program that incentivizes states to pass and enforce laws that address important safety issues. The program focuses on impaired driving countermeasures, occupant, safe, occu occupant protection, motorcycle safety, distracted driving, and graduated driver's licensing. These reforms are only part of the sweeping changes made in MAP 21, and I look forward to hearing from the administrators on how their agencies are implementing the reforms that I've highlighted and others that were included in MAP 21. Now I would recognize Ranking Member DeFazio for an opening